Now I'm brethren. Uh, welcome to the Hotel California. Um, we've had a horrendous day today. Uh, I think in the last uh, last day, I had a marvellous day uh, on the camel train, which I've talked about as I was doing it. And um, I've got to say, what a fantastic um, trail that was. I think it was about, eight, the bit that I did was about eight mile long. Um, and uh, stunning scenery, which I've talked about. Uh, at the end there, there is a uh, cafe, very nice cafe, uh, car park, and uh, the the old pottery works. Apparently, I found out a little bit more about it. Now I'm hoping Dan will um, dig up some history on the thing and and be able to do a talk it over at some point, because I'm not sure whether the history of this is correct that I've got. But uh, right up at the top end of the um, uh, the uh, line where I presume it ended um, there is the drying rooms for the pottery so they must have been making the pottery I was mistaken thinking it was uh, clay they were taking down it was uh, pottery they were taking down to the coast with this railway but I'm sure Dan will be able to help me out on this one uh, and give you the true history because if it's not correct uh, then I'm sure uh, the local people would be pretty upset uh, that I uh, am getting things wrong, stupid old Yorkshireman. Anyway, today, uh, this morning, oh, last night, uh, I uh, was going to Bibby at the side of the track, didn't do, pushed on, and um, got up to, I think it was called Telford. The bridge, not quite sure, we'll have to check. Um, uh, so I got to the top of there and I asked if I could, well, while camp, um, just at the end of the, at the, uh, at the trail there in a car park, uh, just opposite the uh, pottery uh, works. Uh, well, it isn't. It's um, a handmade pottery uh, um, what would you say? You, you can, I think you can go around and look at what's made. Uh, it's all handcrafted pottery that's in there. Um, and the lady uh, absolutely marvellous. Let me uh, stay in the field uh, which is absolutely great of her. I was supposed to be off by five o'clock in the morning, but we had the most horrendous downpour of rain, nearly six hours of it, and it was proper, proper going for it. I'd only halfway put this tent up. I hadn't actually uh, pinned it down totally, but it didn't matter, because uh, I didn't expect rain last night. Uh, it didn't matter, it, we stayed dry, it held out, and off we went in the, the, this morning. Today's been nothing but problems. Uh, right from the start, the original problem with the jockey wheel at the front of the um, wheelchair, uh, even though I've been all over the country, it finally, uh, and this is the problem that uh, was initial part where the, uh, it jammed and locked and bent, and then the, uh, the Land Rover uh, mechanic uh, put it right for me and off we went again. But it finally gave in today, and it's now apparent what has actually gone on and why it's happening. So today I've got as far as a place called Camelford, which is the head of the Camel River. Um, and I pulled into a campsite, and the lady's been absolutely marvellous. She's come out with, oh, unbelievable. She's come out with a flask of uh, hot water and tea and and cakes and uh, absolutely unbelievable all in aid of because I'm doing this for charity and you know it, it's pretty overwhelming really um, she's even rung up a mechanic uh, to come out to me tomorrow morning 
Uh, there is actually a garage just opposite where I'm camped, which is absolutely ideal. I just happen to drop lucky every time when these things go wrong. Um, even though I had to push with a broken wheelchair for uh, eight miles, um, what happened there was we I stopped the side of the road with it. Uh, I could see what the problem was now, and um, two cyclists turned up at the time. And between us, we managed to lash, uh, like a, spl a splint, I suppose you would call it, to the uh, front uh, forks of the jockey wheel. And uh, we we managed to, uh, well, uh, it was a, a long, hard slog with a broken wheelchair. But we managed to get to a campsite and uh, we've got the garage opposite and the mechanic's coming out tomorrow. So... Basically, I'm going to have a couple of days now, um, but tomorrow um, the um, mechanic's going to come over, he'll deal with what he needs to do if we need to. I'll get a bus probably uh, and have to go to the nearest uh, place I can find, uh, and well, possibly somebody who can uh, fabricate. Uh, me some new parts for the chair then come back put it all together and then hopefully I'm not going to have this problem again because uh, it's, this problem is recurring and it's uh, it's becoming a, a bit of an issue to me. Me personally I'm actually in bang on condition I'm bang on condition I feel like I could push on forever uh, no problems whatsoever or uh, health wise um, so that's about it I'm going to settle down tonight I'm um, all fully charged up I'm probably going to uh, well not watch telly but I might watch a bit of YouTube see what else he's putting on ok good night well this is all that's left of little Nelly she's uh, finally the uh, front jockey wheel gave in so it's all completely stripped. The front end of the chair now has gone for some parts refabricated, uh, which leaves my time schedule well and truly shot to bits, but never mind. We're still going to John O'Groats. Makes me more determined. Okay. That's a picture of little Nelly. She'd lost her front legs. Catch you later.